Good morning. This is Bill from Adi Europa Naples, and I've got a splendid Florida morning. The birds are singing. There's a gentle breeze in the air. There's no weed whackers. There's no airplanes dive bombing. There's no, you know, neighbors cleaning out barbecue grills or any other number of things. In fact, uh, what we do have is this very attractive, and it's true, 1999 Mercedes-Benz SLK 230 compressor. Uh, compressor, of course, being the German word for supercharger, they managed to make it sound sinister. Uh, but the car itself is not sinister. It's just a fantastic, uh, joyful little car to drive and own. Uh, you know, this genre was sort of brought back to life by the Mazda Miata and uh, has come to include uh, real champions like the Porsche Boxster, the BMW uh, Z3 and Z4, or Z3 and 4 as the Canadians call them. Uh, the Audi TT and you know so on and so forth but the SLK is a Mercedes and in, in that way it sort of stands above the rest in terms of expectations and in terms of delivery uh, you can see the styling on the car is beautiful uh, this one is equipped with the uh, AMG Sport package so it really adds some nice stuff to an already uh, attractive car and if you ever wonder what a future collectible might look like you know you're sort of you know looking amongst the offerings of you know semi-modern cars thinking what's going to be something people want to have in the future then this SLK is one that you'd want to give strong consideration to uh, for a variety of reasons again it's got the pointy star on the hood so that uh, you know that's 50 percent of the battle there uh, it's good looking it seats too it's got a special kind of trick engine and trick folding hard top and uh, you know the top goes down and it's cool and that's the kind of thing that uh, future generations look for when uh, picking you know collectibles you can see the styling on the car is very unique i remember when this car came out it was a real head turner uh, that's true today uh, if you look on google if you search these things they're all very highly rated in terms of the customer appreciation you know they're very reliable they're fun to drive they don't cost a fortune to maintain uh, and they're uh, just truly a joy to own we pop open the rear trunk while we're back here so you can see the way the hard top is folded in there. Uh, very, very nicely is the answer. You can see you really have pretty good access to a nice little cargo area down there. Now this is a 40,000 mile one owner car. So you can see the original floor mats are still with it and in nice shape. That's, you know, something you wanna look for when uh, getting a car that, uh, you know, you wanna have to, to keep for future use collectability and such uh, you see it's got a CD changer in there but again very very nice amount of room even with the hard top down and I'm not gonna say you're gonna go you know Costco and buy 400 bucks worth of stuff and get it in there but if you want to do some quick shopping it's very possible not a bad thing at all have a look under the hood and I should mention with the top up you really get a lot of storage space back there then you might be able to go to Costco. All right, under here, this is a pretty cool new motor from Mercedes when it came out. Supercharged 2.3 liter inline four. It doesn't set the horsepower world on fire, about 185, but more than enough, uh, especially instant torque and boost uh, to push this light car down the road in a very spirited way. Uh, so it's a very proper motor under the hood. It's made into a five speed shiftable automatic transmission. And again, on this 40,000 mile car, uh, you can see everything's nice and clean under there. It's never been up north. It's not salty or rusty. Uh, just a very, very proper. Love that one big hood strut. All right, let's have a look inside. Actually, I'll show you this. Now, part of that sport package, you get these nice big 18-inch five-star wheels. Pretty cool. Uh, those are riding new uh, tires on them. Very, very nice. You see that ground effect on the bottom? That's special to that sport package, as is the sport badging there. Uh, in the front, you've got a, again, special AMG-style front. Uh, uh, not even AMG-style. Proper AMG front bumper with the lower air dam, the you know built-in fogs. Just pretty cool looking. Uh, here in the back, you're going to have a rear diffuser, special AMG style rear bumper, pretty cool stuff. And, uh, you know, the sport package just was a nice touch to this. I love this little black rubber whip antenna too. 
you know, nothing is too uh, ostentatious on this car. Uh, these are functional roll bars. They will give you head protection. They're solid as a rock or solid as a roll bar. And just really nice all around. Uh, inside, you can see these beautiful leather sport seats. Uh, lovely to sit in. Nice and comfortable, even on a long trip. Very nice materials. Nice fit and finish. Uh, they don't wow you with, uh, you know, too much stuff in the SLKs. It's just very down to business. Uh, you can see it's got a carbon fiber look insert. It's pretty cool. Uh, one of the nicest uh, interiors on these cars. They used to do some wild ones with, you know, different colors, but they just didn't hold up well. Uh, the best uh, interiors on these cars are just all black or charcoal or, you know, monotone. Let's hop in. Now what I'm going to do is run the, uh, the top up so you can see that. Actually, we'll fire it up. Okay, to run the top, we just press this guy forward. You see it lights up red. I got flies everywhere today, and it's killing me. See the trunk comes up from the rear. Up comes the folding hard top. It seals itself into place. Down comes the trunk. Light goes off and up come the windows. So one push of the button, hold it, and you got the whole thing sealed up nice. Let me do a quick walk around so you can see how it looks as a coupe. Again, look how good looking the damn car is. You know, this is this is why these cars are gonna hold their value where they're at and they're gonna start creeping upward again. They're just too cool. love that compressor badge on the back too very very cool stuff so now what you see here is a trunk where you can release this guy this divider put it forward and now look at the size of that you're going to be able to get golf clubs in there your costco whatever you want to do now with that divider rolled forward the top won't work because obviously you could be filling up this section where the top goes but uh, it makes it a very useful folding hard top convertible I'd put it up against just about anything in terms of uh, usable trunk space. All right, so let's see what we got here. Now, very nice, simple, laid out uh, instrument cluster. They light up reverse, pretty cool stuff. Turn the radio down. You see just 45,000 miles on the clock. Nice one owner car. Lovely, simple leather steering wheel. Nice fit and finish from everything. I like the chrome surrounds. What do we have here? You know, a cup holder for you to put your Perrier and such. Uh, here's our uh, climate control in the dash. Nice cold AC, good heat. Uh, this is uh, an AM FM. Uh, it's got a cassette. Let's see how that works here. There's tape, eject. There we go. So if you want to run an iPod adapter, you can put it in that guy, close it, and uh, use it that way. Keep the factory stereo. It's also got the CDs in the trunk. Uh, you see it's got heated seats. Very nice. It's got uh, headlight washers. Uh, it's got a uh, ASR, which is a stability program, traction control. Nice, nice. Uh, locks, hazards, more heated seats power windows again very very simple stuff uh, winter summer setting on the uh, on the tranny down here your mirrors your top uh, an ashtray that's never been used in fact somebody's left uh, look at that look at that fancy thing somebody's left a USB tri power thing in there so there you go you're lucky you got that uh, in the glove box what do we got we got books nah I don't know where they're at they're around somewhere um, you know again simple sporty elegant not more than you need not less than you need in a sports car it's very very pure this car and uh, again that's part of what makes it such a fun car to have own drive and to collect uh, there you see that soft dimming mirror and nice shape no separation and away we go I also love those two big humps in the hood they're pretty cool Yeah, you see plenty of pep. I mean, that was about quarter throttle. And uh, the supercharger, of course, kicks right in, belt-driven boost, and gives you sort of instant pep from the get-go. You know, bear in mind, Miatas are a blast to drive, and uh, they have about 120-something horsepower, maybe 130. This thing's got 50-plus more, and it's about the same size and weight. All right, maybe a little heavier. I got people waving at me, very, very angry at my accelerating pace, but uh, yeah, what can you do?
trying to show you guys the car runs well. Um, so there it is, 1999 Mercedes-Benz SLK 230 compressor, uh, bright red, magma red outside, graphite leather inside, beautiful color combination, uh, 45,000 miles, one owner, listen to the engine, listen. I mean, it's just a fun car to throw around, it really is. So if you have an interest, give us a call, 239-649-7300 on the web at mercedesexpert.com. Thanks so much for having a look. We really appreciate it, and we'll see you with the next one. Take care.